Hi ladies, it's Tammy from dreamcreateandshare.blogspot.com and I'm here to share a rerun video with you because the last one that I did for this one I was using a different microphone and it was actually the one for the computer and it was picking up more the noise of me moving things around than it was my voice. So I'm reshooting this video. It is my So Cute Mini. I've used an AccuCut um, file folder die for this and it has a top and bottom tab and a middle tab on this die and also has a page um, that goes with this die. Um, I bound it with my bind it all and various satin ribbons and, and seam binding. Uh, I have some d wonderful die cuts on the front that are um, I believe all of them on the front are uh, AccuCut. The so so cute die, I believe. I've got some pretty satin pleated ribbon around the spool with a little mini safety pin. Um, some bling, which is Stampin' Up. Um, this is also a retired Stampin' Up ribbon, sat, uh, vel velour. Uh, I have embossed some various stitching on the cover. And this is a Border die cut from AccuCut, some I Am Roses flowers, and a little mini envelope that was actually gifted to me. Um, it's closed with a Tim Holtz swivel clasp and a hinge clip. And you just unclip it and then you open it up. And the first page has um, this doily die cut and a pair of scissors which also comes from the AccuCut So Cute die and they're workable. You put a brad in the center and they'll move. I mean, I don't think they'll really cut. I haven't tried to cut anything but um, they move and I just love them. That was a great addition that they had on that die. Um, I've added some tags here. This is a Stampin' Up! A stamp that's retired. Um, and this is a new memory box, I think it's memory box, stamp, but it works with the Sizzix tickets, new ticket dies. They're similar to Nestabilities. There's several in the package, I think five different sizes. And I believe this is, works with the middle one or the second largest one. And then this is a memory box die as well. And I just die cut it out of some lined paper so it already has the journal spots on you for the photo on the front and these are my favorite things um, a die this one is the ruler and there's some buttons from Stampin Up and some I am roses flowers and leaves on that page I've distressed all my edges I've also used um, Stampin Up's punch you can see it's right here uh, it's not curly label might be decorative label. I'm not sure. This stamp, anyway. I've just used the edge of it to make my um, tabs for the pages. The next page, I've used a, I believe this one is Tim Holtz dress form. I've stamped a background stamp on it, distressed the edges. Then I've used some waffle paper to make a skirt, some seam binding to tie around the waist and then my favorite things another one of their little mini charm dies if this one's the thimble there's a postcard in behind with a little pocket there's a little dress form stamped here um, a sewing machine stamped on there and a little button for the pull tab and then a journal spot on the back and that just tucks in behind the dress form. And then another one of those label punches there. Um, the next page here, I've created a pocket with an embossed uh, pink piece of paper. I've stamped, this is a Tim Holtz stamp, it's a ruler, and I've crumpled it and put it along the top. There's some ribbon down here that I've attached, a little metal sewing machine charm. Taken a spool and wrapped some Baker's twine around it and then in the pocket I have just a couple of shipping tags that are stamped and trimmed for journaling. 
use some of the washi tape down here. The, it's the Tim Holtz, what's he call it? I can't remember, but it's the Tim Holtz, but it's washi tape. Um, this is a Graphics 45 sticker and a Nestability die cut. And yeah, that's it for those. Um, over here, I have um, that die cut again from Memory Box and from My Favorite Things. I've stamped it with a spool and it says, Memories are stitched with love. And then on the back, it says, Remember this. And then a little Tim Holtz adage ticket. Um, I've used the Tim Holtz stamp down here. I've um, heat embossed with um, Beauty some flourishes and put that um, velvet ribbon in behind there. I've got a dress form tucked in behind here that I've put some flourishes on. They're just swirls from, uh, oh, I'm not even sure what they're from, but I just didn't want to waste them, so I put them on the dress form. I can't remember what they're from. I'm sorry. If it comes to me, I'll add it later. This is the mini cabinet die cut from Tim Holt. Just a stamp on the back, and then um, this is just a tab, two different size circles. And this one and this stamp, I believe, are from uh, Tim Holtz, one of his stamp sets. Oh, I forgot to put these tags back in the front. Oh, I guess I can do that later. No, I can't. It won't stick. <laughs> The next page, I've used the scissors again, and again, I've left them so that only one side is down, so this is worth a while. I've attached it. I am Rose's flower grouping with a skeleton leaf on top of one of the scissor handles. And then in behind here, I have two tags. I've used that stamp again from Memory Box. I really like it. Uh, I can see me using it a lot. And then the ruler stamp and just some journal inference spot on the back. This side I've created a belly band with some seam binding, trimmed it with some crocheted flowers, added bling brads to the center and some skeleton leaves along there. And then I've made this little pull out which is kind of like a matchbox. No, matchbook. Matchbook kind of folder, but then it's also a little bigger. It's more like a little photo wallet. And uh, I've used that memory box die to add some photo journal of mats to each section. This one you can see I got my lines cricket, but it will still work. And then this one as well. And I've also used this little thimble die cut to create labels for each of the sections for you to title each section or whatever you want to do. Now, why aren't you closing? something. Oh, this one is catching. There we go. And then it just closes up and it tucks in behind this die cut, which is in one of those little tickets and a Tim Holtz. I believe that's a Tim Holtz stamp. And then I've just used one of those ticket dies. It's this set right here, ladies, in case you haven't seen it. It's by Sizzix. It has five dies in there. It's called tickets. And they're framelets. They're not sizz, not sizzlets, not um, nestabilities. They're framelets. Um, then the next page, um, I have another dress form. This is a My Favorite Things dress form. It was nice to have several different dress forms that I could use throughout this album. Uh, I've trimmed it with some bling. My bow for that belly band is on this side. And then I've just got a photo mat back there. Then on um, this side, I've made a pocket on the long edge. It is embossed, and then I've got some of that um, tissue tape. That's what it is, Tim Holtz tissue tape. I knew it would come to me along there. Another dress form. This one is a mix of two. I've added, um, this is the top from the AccuCut die, and then this is a part of one of the Tim Holtz dies, I believe, from the hanging sign. And then in behind the pocket here, I've got just a little photo spot with journaling on the back. And then this is a nestability, and it's just um, dresses that will actually work with the different dress forms. And I just turned it into a little thing. I've attached two layers over a hanger. I believe those are Tim Holtz, too. 
um, Seven Gypsies makes some, but they're actually twice as much for the same thing. I can't see any difference between the two. So um, if there was some difference, I could see a reason for such a difference in the price. But anyways, this one is a Tim Holtz one. I do have both kinds. And then I don't have anything on the back. I've used black chipboard as the base for my mini. I'm really liking using the black chipboard. I will still use the craft, but I really like the black. I don't have to finish my edges as much. And I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope the sound is much better when I check it out in the end. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.